Hey guys, it's Josh over at JNH. So it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I figured I would go live tonight because over the past, um, just the past couple of days, I haven't been able to post videos. You know, I've been being uh, pretty consistent about things and um, over the past few days, I just have not posted videos. And the reason for that was we just got crazy busy. Uh, I've just been doing just an you know, just a ton of business, so many orders with the Elias stuff and Skinner stuff and everything else that's going on. So I uh, figured, you know what, instead of uh, going live on Instagram or Facebook, I go uh, I go live on YouTube today and sort of give you an update about what's going on. And we would also at the same time take a look at uh, the, uh, the brand new Stella 5000 FJ, which I brought home. Uh, first things first, let's talk about a little bit, little bit of J&H business. Uh, we're doing a couple of in-store promotions and um, they'll be online too, so, so they'll be for everybody, but I, uh, I wanted to start off with the, uh, the in-store stuff. So the 14th of April, which is in a couple weeks on a Saturday, that is going to be Skinner slash Daiwa Day, so you're going to get a twofer on that day. Uh, originally, it was just going to be Daiwa and we're going to do some cool promotions with that with J-Braid and some stuff on sale and also um, we're going to do some cool giveaways. Maybe one big cool giveaway. I haven't, I haven't totally figured it out yet, but we'll do something cool, I promise. And I said to John Skinner, I said, hey, John, would you want to come in on that day? It's a Saturday, April 14th. And he said he would. So now Daiwa Day has morphed into Skinner Day slash Daiwa Day. So we got two for once. You can come to the store, meet John Skinner, um, talk to him, and then also talk to the Daiwa guys and get all this information, and then also talk to the guys who work at j &H and get their opinion on all the new gear, including all the new Daiwa stuff, the Daiwa stuff that worked last year, and the Daiwa stuff that you can do well with, and then of course all the Skinner stuff. So that's happening. Um, April 28th, we're gonna do an in-store promotion with St. Croix, so we're gonna have St. Croix Day, and uh, that's gonna feature some um, good deals on St. Croix. We're getting some salesman samples in that day, and everybody tends to like that promotion, so we're gonna do that, and um, I'm sure we'll do a, do a giveaway and do some fun stuff. Uh, so with that being said, let's take a look at this, uh, this Stella. So the new Stella started trickling in. I haven't like legit pushed them just because we just been, like I said, we've just been so busy and it's, it's awesome to be that busy, but it's just a bit overwhelming. And then you get in something like this where you really have to pay attention. Um, you know, we get a lot of fraud and a lot of people trying to, you know, buy Stellas because you can, you know, they're easy to turn to cash or high end reels or whatever it is. But anyway, so Stella 5000, let's take this thing out of the box and have a look. I had this out the other day, did a quick video on it. I was actually, um, last week, these were the, what I was gonna do a video on. I think it was um, Tuesday night, but um, we just got so, so many orders that I just didn't have the time. You know, I gotta put the customers first before doing the videos, but here, Stella in the bag. We've got the, uh, the very cool power handle, so let me take this out and um, put this together and I can talk to you a little bit about this. So, um, the Stella was announced a couple of months ago, or at least it was it was told to us, and um, glad it finally came in. You can see right there, first thing. Oh, let's see if I can get that out there. See that? Well, it's not focusing it, but that is a seal. That is a seal for the uh, for the handle. So that's always a good sign. Um, you know, I think more of the, more and more of these companies are focusing on saltwater protection, even though most people think of this as a freshwater reel. It's really not. There's no such thing as a freshwater spinning reel. Um, it's really, I mean, there are reels that are specifically targeted towards uh, freshwater, but there's nothing that's specific that you can't use in saltwater. You know, obviously, if you're if you're doing a lot of hardcore saltwater fishing and you want something that's going to hold up well, having seals in it nowadays is better. So. Here it is, Stella 5000. This is the biggest of the series in the FJ. You can see that really uh, nice aluminum power handle right there. And it is just crazy smooth. You know, super smooth, just like you'd expect a Stella to be. Uh, everything about it is wonderful. If you've never fished a Stella or you've never held a Stella before, what you should know is this is Shimano's top of the line reel. Um, this one is, I believe, 800 bucks. And the whole series ranges from uh, I think seven, eight hundred, seven to eight hundred. Um, you get everything from one thousand all the way up to this five thousand right here. Um, basically, you know, what guys are going to ask me is, is uh, what do they do from the last one? How do they improve it? And um, the real answer to that is that they did everything. And that sounds kind of strange, but um, they've 
redesigned the drivetrain of this reel. So everything inside that makes this handle turn and gives power to this reel, they've, they've redesigned and re-engineered to make it better. That's the whole point of this series of reels is that they come out with a model and it's super good. You know, last year's Stella, or you know, the last series of Stellas has been amazing. And you know, you're not gonna have these huge jumps. It's just, they're so good already that you're just gonna get the refinement. So with this version, they just refined the entire drivetrain, you know, new gearing, um, you know, better alignment of things. You know, all these things that sound kind of silly, or really they're not identifiable. You know, it's not like you went from five pounds of drag to 100 pounds of drag and you're like, wow, that's crazy. But I think once you hold it in your hand and you play with it and, and you just feel the performance of it, you'll know that it is, you know, one of the best spinning reels on the planet. Um, they don't put the Stella name on this. You know, this is their flagship product. This is their legit top of the line product. So um, it's just a really cool, really cool. They keep, you know, doing better and better and better. And what's great about the Stella is if you're not a Stella guy and you're not going to spend $800 on a spinning reel, that's totally cool. Uh, but what you're going to find is from all the stuff they put into this is that your next Stratic, um, your next Sustain, your next, um, you know, the Intro L Techers, all those series take cues from this. It's just a whole trickle down in terms of how these reels are are built. They are just, um, you know, they, they put everything they can into this. And then when they make the other ones, they, they figure out what they can take out and change to bring the price down. And that could be... You know, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, whatever. Um, but if you're looking for the peak, for the peak, the very best performance from Shimano, it's right here in my hand. Um, so with that being said, I'll, I'll take some questions. Uh, you guys might not realize this, but for me, YouTube is a little bit different than when we do this on the other platforms because the comments don't stay up there. They, um, you know, they they keep they just disappear. So. If you guys want to ask me questions, fire away. I'll just keep talking until I start seeing questions, and then I'll, um, you know, I'll just answer them as I can. Um, Elias Jigheads, more of those are coming in tomorrow. Um, Shield Bayless kits, people are waiting on those are coming in Monday, I believe. Uh, same thing with more Maxell harness clamps. If you ever seen those, if you're like a, a nearshore guy or an offshore guy, check out the Maxell harness clamp. It basically replaces the clamp set on your reel. And you can then, you know, hook up uh, drop straps to it, which is really cool. So if you don't have lugs on your reel, you can just use that. And it's like 15 bucks or 20 bucks, whatever the, the harness clamp is. Um, other than that, um, guys are posting. They want me to talk a little bit about the casking stuff. So, um, you know, I've told this story on Instagram and, and sort of gone over things. But I'll just go over it one more time um, for you guys just real quick. So what happened was is we posted a picture on Instagram and Facebook of Matt with his hand turned purple from moving the line over from one reel to another. So I was doing a customer a favor. I had, um, he bought an Avid 80 wide back in like November or early December and uh, around Christmas time I just get crazy. Like I just, I feel I, I have to deliver on these orders. If you place an order, I have to get it to you in time for Christmas because I know how important that is to everybody. So um, what I said to him was, you know, I was saying it was coming from Avid, and he, he didn't need it for Christmas, but he, need, he did need it for like mid-January. So what I said to him was, I'm going to, you know, I don't have the blue color that you want, but I'm gonna send you a silver one. And I figured that he would just use it, like the silver and keep it. But I said, if you don't like it or you want, you still want the blue, send it back. So that's what happened. So I sent that to him, he, uh, he fished it, you know, I didn't hear back from him for a month or two. And then all of a sudden the reel came back and had this really crappy purple line on it. So, Matt was moving the line from the silver reel to the blue reel and it all the um, coloring on the line came off on his hands. The fact that where it took him like six or seven times to wash, really scrubbing his hands to get it off. I mean, you can go and, and check out the picture. Um, people lost their minds. Like, I guess I learned a lesson. I mean, uh, what I did was I, I, I intimated that the braid was casking. I didn't say that it was for sure. I said, um, the joke was, uh, you know, it's, um, I don't know who the manufacturer is, but I'm pretty sure it rhymes with Ass King. So that was a joke. And I was just insinuating that here's, you, you have this $7, $800 reel and you're putting $3 braid on it. Um, for what reason? It's just ridiculous. Um, didn't make any sense to me. And, you know, Cast King is sort of that low end brand of product that where people want to, you know, 
I don't want to say cheap out on things, but it kind of is. I mean, you know, it, it's not like Power Pro or Daiwa J Braid or Suffix is, is that crazy expensive that you need to really consciously think of, oh, should I get like bargain basement braid or should I get just, you know, the, the standard stuff, you know what I mean? Should I get a two liter of Coke for $2 or should I get, you know, uh, the horrible uh, supermarket brand for, for a dollar? You know, like it's, it just it was just strange because that's such an expensive reel for you to put that crap on there is, was just whatever. But I shouldn't have said asking, I shouldn't have done that, I should have just posted it up and said, hey, check this out, it's ridiculous. Anyway, so people lost their mind on Facebook and a lot of the people that lost their mind are actually either casking employees or casking brand ambassadors and the thing just went crazy, you know, 15,000 people got in front of and uh, a couple hundred comments and, and all this kind of stuff. And what they did was they did a lot, they just did a lot of negative things. So one guy um, who's since taken it down, he's a nice guy and he feels bad for doing it, but he reported us to the Better Business Bureau, which I thought was funny. Uh, three guys gave us one star reviews on Facebook, which I also thought was funny. And one guy said it was fake news. Um, and they accused me or me and Matt of either using ink on, our hand, on his hand, spray painting his hand, um, just these crazy ridiculous things of like, you know, we don't have time for any of that kind of stuff, it's just ridiculous. The point of the post was just to say like, you know, don't fish with garbage if you're uh, spending that amount of money. Um, so what I did, because I was a bit frustrated, you know, I was trying to explain to these people and they were just, you know, too over the top crazy in their responses, was all the guys who gave me one star reviews, I, I, I actually took um, screen, screen grabs of their profiles, which say that they either work for casting or their, or their reps or they're somehow affiliated, and I posted that next to the one star review. I said, look, this guy gave me this one star review because uh, he didn't like what I said about the company that he likes, and um, I've never done business with him, blah, 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 blah. And one guy actually wrote me back and said, like, why'd you do that? Like, I've never had that done to me here before. And I'm like, well, if you're gonna, you know, say nasty things to me uh, and, and degrade, try to degrade my business, you're gonna get it right back. Another guy who did it, I, uh, I explained to him, I said, look, if you keep saying all these bad things, I, I privately messaged the guy and I said, listen, if you keep saying all these negative, you know, feeding the, the fire and I keep responding to you, which I'm going to keep responding to you. And move, keep moving it up and keep it in front of people. And 75% of the comments are that the company you like is crap. Cast King is crap. So while you think you're doing something nice for this company that you like, you're really hurting it. And uh, I didn't hear a peep from him, no more comments since then. So um, it was just an interesting experience. And um, the other thing I learned from that was, you know, these guys have this theory that, you know, all of a sudden there's just gonna be this wave of backlash against us for saying something bad about a company. And, um, you're gonna get all this negative stuff and all these people and your business is gonna go downhill and blah, 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 blah. And you know what? None of that happened. None of that even came close to happening. Our business is doing really great. We're growing every single day like crazy. Uh, you know, tons of web orders and all this kind of stuff. So it was just a funny situation. You can check out the pic, go to Instagram, go to Facebook, whatever, uh, whenever you get a chance. So you don't have to comment or anything, but um, you can certainly, uh, certainly take a look. Um, all right, so in that whole diatribe that I was giving off, someone uh, did ask a couple questions, and one of them was, what's the difference between the, the Tsunami Guard and the, uh, the Tsunami Shield? So in reality, the Tsunami Guard is aimed at the Pen Fierce. You know, it's Tsunami's way of, you know, coming in at that price point that's the same as the Fierce, it's a $70, $80 price point, somewhere around there, and they just basically, uh, brought down the, you know, some of the features in the reel. So instead of an aluminum rotor, it's got a graphite rotor, you know, those kind of things. Um, so it's just a pared down shield. If it was me, I would spend the extra 20, 30 bucks on the shield, which is already proven. It seemed kind of silly to me for them to do that, to do the guard. But again, you know, they might have a big Walmart presence where, you know, it's a price point reel. A guy says it's 80 bucks and it's got a ton of seals. So, um, you know, uh, you're good to go. Uh, someone asked for a review of the of the Makaira 10,000 spinning reel. It's just been hard to get that reel. Uh, Okuma has not been delivering. I think they're having similar manufacturing issues as they did when they um, 
when they came out with the Andros, re Andros reels, conventional reels, if you remember that, Libra Dread reels, and it was just, you know, months and months between products. So we've ordered that for a while now, haven't gotten it in. I think next month it's supposed to come in. We'll, we'll see. Um, but, you know, once we get it in, we'll do a review. I do have the, I think, a twenty and a 30000 I don't remember if I did reviews on it. Um, so I will uh, give it a try. Um, it, you know, it's it's supposed to be a really good... I mean, I've held it. I've played with it. Um, it's, you know, it is what it is. But um, we'll see. Uh, someone's saying the best round reel for catfish. I mean, there's so many reels you can use. I mean, I kind of defer to that Abu catfish reel because... It says catfish on it, and I know it works and all that kind of stuff, but you can certainly use a uh, Shimano uh, Takoda or a Daiwa Saltus or anything like that. So uh, any sort of 30 size reel uh, you can go with. Uh, Vansol VRs, I got a call from Craig today, and he made it seem like, you know, they were air freighting in some VR50s. So if that's something you're interested in, still don't get your hopes up, but... Um, at least know that there is conversa conversation about it from, you know, the manufacturer and the people that work at uh, Advanced Stall. So that should be uh, pretty cool. I missed a couple of comments. Um, all right, someone's asking, do we have the sell in 2500? We do. Um, what's the hype on the SP mineral rods I see floating around? Um, I haven't really heard a lot of uh, hype about them. I mean, I think you're, you're probably talking about there uh, but you know you certainly you can use that I mean there's there's a, there's a ton of rods now that you can fish SP minnows um, if that's a focus for you and couple different models of that you know that Pangea that I like so much they're coming out with a couple different models in the same vein so they're shipping those to me I'll check them out uh, someone else is asking if the if she might Freshwater, um, you know, they don't really have a name for it, but you know what I mean. And then there's the saltwater version, which is the, the much bigger reel. So um, guys have been asking if that's going to be, be revamped. I honestly don't know. I'll find out closer to ICAST, and I'll let you guys know. And obviously, once we're there, I will uh, give you pictures and video and all that kind of stuff. Um, someone else asked me about... Um, Let's see. Oh, sustain. What do I think of the new sustain? I like the new sustain a lot. It it actually reminds me. When I first felt this, it reminded me a lot of this. You know, of of the sustain. Um, that sustain has always sort of stood out, and now it's sort of a stepping stone within a series. You know, it's, it used to be very different from from the it used to be extremely the same as the Stratic, and then the next version was was very different. So now it is. Um, um, now it's sort of a mid price point or whatever for um, for um, for them, but it is a solid reel. So if you're looking for that price range spinning reel sustain, you can't go wrong with that. Someone was asking for a three hundred dollars surf rod. I mean, I think my favorite C three hundred dollars surf rod is or, or somewhere around there is the Saint Croix Avid series. It just is. You know, it's made in America. I know it's red. Joke around that it's Darth Vader's lightsaber, but um, it's just a really good rod with really good actions. We don't sell, something you also mentioned ODM. Um, we don't sell ODM. I've talked to the um, company and they feel that, uh, you know, like when you do business uh, with companies and you're in an industry where there's standards, if those companies are not meeting those standards in terms of margins, um, it doesn't make sense for a guy like me or a company like us to bring in something where we're gonna make less money for what reason so that I can send out emails and, and social media posts to hundreds of thousands of people promote you so that I get, you know, I don't get enough to, you know, pay for the lights and pay for the employees and all this kind of stuff. So I, I've turned down ODM. Um, it's just, it is what it is. So when nothing against a product, I don't even know that much about it. I felt it. I played around with it. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't crazy about it. Um, it felt very similar to tsunami level product. Um, so, uh, whatever you want to do with that, but my favorite rod in that price range is, is the um, um, is the Avid from from Saint Croix. Um, someone else was asking. Uh, let's see, what was someone else asking? So, Sustain Stella. Uh, someone else asked me a question. I just got thrown off by uh, 
someone wrote, wrote a stupid comment. Um, that's the only problem with YouTube is like the things keep rolling. I wish I could scroll through it like I uh, like I did on um, Instagram. Uh, let's see here. I was trying to figure it out if I could, but I really can't. Um, so anyway, I, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Oh, Pen Pen uh, Pen Tour Two. Benny Russell was asking about. Those are really good. I mean, we've sold a fair amount of them to people who love pen and haven't had a single problem, having a single one come back. You know, mainly it's the 5500 bail list. That's what we sell. Um, just, you know, it's 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 an, in an interesting place because you have Vanstall, you have Z-Bass, and you have that pen torque, and that's it. You know, you don't have anything else that's fully sealed like that. Even though pen won't admit that it's fully sealed, my best guess or my... I'm confident to say that it's fully sealed, um, at least, you know, again, without having any problems with it and selling a, a fair amount of them, I'm pretty confident. Someone's asking if we had any Stormer promos. I know Stormer is sort of closing out some of their stuff because, um, uh, you know, it's the end of the season, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we did, we actually just got in three huge boxes of closeout Stormer stuff, all, you know, brand new stuff so i just haven't had time to go through it because we've just been so busy i've been trying to um you know get out all of the uh just get out all the orders and with you know the elias jig heads and his shads and all of the skinner stuff and now we have the blackfish season starting soon it's just been uh it's just been a bit overwhelming in a good way so i haven't really um you know, I, it's just been too busy to go through that stuff. But um, I'll try to do it tomorrow if I get the time. Otherwise, I'll, it'll have to wait till uh, till next week. I'll I'll put a list up or whatever. But if there's something you're specifically looking for, um, email me joshjnh.com. Call me. You want to DM me on Instagram or Facebook? That's totally cool. Um, so that's that. Um, someone else was asking about Newell Reel. So Newell is out of business, completely out of business, never coming back. But that doesn't mean that the reels aren't coming back. So we will see if those reels are coming back. I have certainly seen things that lead me to believe that some version of that will return. The question is, is that what you want? You know, I know people fall in love with these sort of old legacy type things. Let me move this down a little bit, um, which is fine to some degree. You know, Newell, I know how popular it is. And how popular it was because it was light and all that stuff but that was before you had the boss valiant and the sgn and um all that kind of stuff so you have a lot of options now do you necessarily need a new wool? um i don't know i'm just not a fan of if 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 what happens happens you might like it uh you might be happy with it but if you are if it comes out and it's got a tiny little clutch on it and um it's you know, I, you know, that thing is like a tinker toy to me. I know people love it and they, they're just super diehard fans and I got it and all that kind of stuff. But there's just better stuff nowadays. Now, if they upgrade it, they make the frame stronger, make the reel able to handle braid better, um, make the handle better and, um, you know, but, but they're able to keep the lightness, the shape, the look of it. I mean, that's that's fine. Almost like what people did with the upgrade kits from Accurate. And I think Tiburon did them and stuff where they... You know, they replaced the frame, they kept the side plates and, and the handle and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, there are, um, we'll see what happens with that. Someone else asked me, um, Daiwa Bay Jigger or the new Stella. That's an interesting question. I mean, that Bay Jigger is like magic. It really is like magic. This feels more like um, the next progression up from the sustain. Um, it doesn't feel as unique to me as the as the bay jigger, but maybe that's just you know um, fantas you know fantasizing kind of stuff where it's not like real world fishing. I mean, I think if you get either one of these, you're going to be super psyched, so I wouldn't worry about it. Also, Daiwa has the new um, Exist LT coming out, which I felt and um, it's it's legit. So. You got a couple of good options if you're looking for a high-end spinning reel in a 4,000 size or the Bay Jigger comes on a 3,500 too. Um, so again, any of those are really good. Someone else was asking me if I was coming to Florida this summer. I'm coming for ICAST, but I'm not coming for fishing. Although I might, I was, I was invited on a fishing trip in early June. We'll see if that works out. Um, you know, with, it, with just the growth of the website, um, it's, it's hard for me to get away. I mean, I had jury duty this morning and uh, 
you know, I got into work at around 2.30 or something like that, and it was just like call after call, question after question, which is not a bad problem. I, I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It's, it makes me super happy. You guys don't understand how happy I am that the things that I put in place three years ago, two years ago, one year ago are paying off significantly to the point where I need to bring in more people. I have more guys working with me where I'm talking to more customers every single day. That is so awesome. It's unbelievable because it's one of those things that takes time. It's not like I just started this yesterday and all of a sudden I'm an overnight sensation and it's, you know, just, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy. You know, it's not like I went on Shark Tank and the next day I get six zillion orders. It's a slow progression and there's, uh, you know, there's confidence and there's doubt and there's ups and there's downs. But I think right now we're just on, um, you know, we're just on the right path and we're doing really well. Someone mentioned Siegler, is he working on a spinning reel? That dude's like a mad scientist. He's working on everything at all times. I've seen um, plans that he's drawn up, but that was from a couple years ago. So I don't know what he's gonna do. It looks like he's gonna mag out the SGN and SG first, which is something that I recommended to him years ago. So that will be good. And then he did a, he did a Facebook post today, excuse me, an Instagram post today showing a bunch of black SGNs. Um, I wonder who I wonder who's getting those. Oh yeah, that's me. That's this guy. Um, so I should have black, all black SGNs, and I think we did SGs too. In uh, hopefully the next couple of days, it looks like they were almost ready in the uh, in the picture. Uh, so that'll be that'll be cool. That's just different and stuff like that, and um, that'll be fun. So I think a lot of guys will be happy with those. It's always good when they do custom stuff for us because you know I know we have an audience for it. I know guys want black, and it's just cool looking. Um, Someone else asked if Avid is coming out with a spinning reel. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Avid is in a situation where, you know, they are so popular. It's it's it just you know it they it is a cult. It is a it is a um, how to explain it. It's a cult. It, it's just like a cult following hardcore guys who love Avid reels. I mean, they basically make one reel. They make one reel in seven hundred different sizes. 50 different colors and three or four different versions. But it's basically one reel and it's like ridiculously popular so much so that they just can't, you know, at certain times it's hard for them to keep up with production and they're shipping a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. Um, so kudos to them, that's great. You know, very rarely do I call them and they're out of something, although it has been happening a little bit more frequently now. But again, you know, as you grow and stuff and, and I don't think they were ever, you know, planning, not they weren't planning to get that big, but again, like things just hit and you're like wowed by them and you're not prepared. And with that, it's all machine time and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so um, I don't know if they'll ever come out with a spinning reel. I don't know if they'll ever come out with a star drag reel. I just don't think from a capacity standpoint that they could handle it because they would have to get a, you know, a whole nother machine shop basically to, to handle the volume. You know, if you start coming out with star drag reels, you know, that's a whole other audience of, of crazy guys who buy tons of those things and how are you going to make all of them? So uh, we'll see about that. Someone asked, when is Siegler coming out with those SG, SGNs? You know, they are a strange company. I like Wes. Uh, I think he's a nice guy. Uh, I like all the people that work there. His dad, Gil and Russell and all those dudes are, you know, Justin, those dudes are super, super cool, super nice. But in terms of sharing information and communication, not the best at all. So... While it was something I told them to do a couple of years ago, and I'm sure there's other people who told them to, to do it. It's a it's you know, it's the simple, smart thing to do is, you know, mag out the SG and SGN, charge fifty dollars more per reel. The magnets cost much less than that, and you can make more profit and then invest that money into other things. Like, you know, these are simple business decisions for a fishing reel manufacturer. Um, but he doesn't share timelines, you know, he'll probably you know, I'll probably find them out from some other retailer's uh, email. You know what I mean? Like that's how ridiculous things are. And, and it's not just Siegler, that's other manufacturers too that don't really, you know, communication isn't their strong point. They're still learning about marketing. They think they know everything. They don't, they know very little, but they're successful because their products are really good. Um, Will, someone's asking, will Shimano produce a machine spinning reel to compete with Vanstall and ZBS and all that kind of stuff? I don't think so. I don't think they believe the market is, is as big as they would need it to be. Um, and they've been getting by with with um, certain amounts of seals, not being fully sealed. Um, 
you know, Daiwa is doing the mag seal oil, which is, you know, again, if they marketed that better, you guys would be fishing it more. It is really good. I mean, I haven't really heard of many people where the mag seal has failed and it's been, you know, it's thousands and thousands of reels already. Um, I think people are just concerned you can't service it yourself, but you know, if I had a Bentley, I'm not servicing it myself anyway. I think people have to get past the old time thinking of working on your own reels, um, and doing all that kind of stuff. And some people just like that and they want simple reels and, that, and that's totally cool. Like I'm not against you guys being able to clean and service your reels. You know, I'm not a manufacturer, it doesn't matter to me, but um, I think that, um, you know, once you get these higher end, high tech reels, you know, there's certain things you shouldn't work on. You know, let, let an expert work on it, the guy who has the right tools, you know, you're dealing with magnetic oil and all kinds of stuff. Um, so, you know, it's, it is what it is. So anyway, guys, that's basically it. Uh, remember, uh, Skinner slash Daiwa Day, April 14th at J&H. Uh, the 28th is going to be St. Croix Day. If you ever need to reach me, I am always available uh, to answer questions and um, help you in any way I can. Email me, joshjnh.com. Um, you know, DM me on Instagram or Facebook. You know, follow me in both those places, uh, you know, whichever one, or, or whichever one you want, whatever you like. And um, I'm here to help and answer questions and help and do all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, that's basically it. So I apologize for not having video reviews up, you know, every day this week, which is something that I promised early on. It's just, we've just been spawned to have been able to do it. So I hope that this live video sort of makes up for it in some way. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll start doing reviews of, of these Stella's. You know, maybe I'll go in, go into work early on Monday and um, give you a bit more details about this. But um, these are going to be super limited for the first couple of months. We got in, um, we've already shipped a few, but uh, I think what we have in stock is like uh, a couple 1000s, a couple 2500s, and a couple of uh, fours and fives, and a couple threes as well. Um, again, keep watching the videos. I really appreciate it. You know, the YouTube following is just super dope. I love you guys. And uh, thanks for supporting J&H. All right, have a good night. Do this again soon.